Mr. Johan Daniel Diakonou from Bucharest. So also, excuse me. Also, Daniel is another great contributor to our to our team. So, Daniel, if you are so kind, uh, open the camera and uh, we are very anxious to hear uh, your presentation on the concept of uh, disaster med medicine. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in recent uh, decades, a uh, new subject uh, has emerged which addresses the medical management of crisis situations, gaining shape under the concept uh, of disaster medicine. Uh, given that war is the greatest disaster, uh, this also explains why military medicine has an important role in the development of uh, disaster medicine. Um, this is my content and move forward. In line uh, with everyday realities, uh, it has been shown to be effective in uh, rapid and intensive intervention in, in the event of medical emergencies that have led to the saving uh, of many lives and uh, the prevention of many complications. It was uh, imposed an equation that uh, brought together the three entities, disaster medicine, med military medicine, and uh, emergency medicine. It, it can be stated that disaster medicine has its own identity, even uh, if it's inspired by the attitude and methods of uh, emergency and military medicine. Uh, disaster is the negative uh, event that results in a number of victims who require a quantity of uh, medical aid uh, that exceeds uh, the possibilities of granting it uh, by the directly responsible structures. Uh, disaster medicine is one of the newest uh, medical disciplines uh, whose general ob objective is to save lives but also limbs to maintain uh, vital functions and uh, reduce uh, suffering as much as possible. Uh, it has been uh, recognized as a distinct field only in uh, recent decades, but this concept uh, has spread uh, rapidly through the world. This is the most appropriate way to respond uh, in a coherent way and adapt it to a situation of destruction that strikes a social group following a destruction event. Um, some general characteristics of disaster medicines, uh, one of them is uh, emergency and field medicine, which provide, uh, requires a permanent adaption of the technique and execution of uh, equipment used and uh, the behavior of the teams that have to work without hospital comfort, uh, respecting the fundamental principles of quality of the medical act. Um, another one is global medicine, uh, where uh, th there is a need for the presence of specialists with multiple trainings and different qualifications levels such as uh, anesthetics, uh, surgeons with uh, multidisciplinary training, but also uh, general practitioners, hygienists, psychologists, nurses, and uh, paramedics. Uh, in disaster medicine, it's uh, justified to resort to therapeutic indications uh, based on triage without uh, giving up uh, the therapeutic features. Um, in general, uh, this must take into account a large number of various uh, extra medical fa factors, such as uh, protection against risks, uh, management of transport and transmissions, uh, the criteria for uh, uh, installing the temporary structures, 
uh, or the problem of sanitary supply without forgetting the need uh, to have uh, energy sources. Uh, the treatment of uh, consequences of a disaster and their management requires a large number of specialities. Uh, the amount of help depends on how you save from the beginning. Medical assistance can only come after uh, rescuing vic victims from disaster area. Um, the doctors will need to know and solve transportation problems, unblocking evacuation, uh, shelter, political, but also ethical et and ethnic issues and uh, so on. Uh, it's mandatory that the intervention staff use the same language and have the same training. Uh, the disaster poses uh, particular pro problems of strategy, plan design, tactics and uh, logistics. Um, Disaster medicine borrows uh, health uh, standards and principles from other uh, medical branches, such as uh, me uh, military medicine, uh, other forms of, of medical assistance, and uh, other medical uh, specialties. Uh, first of all, uh, a war considered a civil disaster that leads to a large number of victims uh, killed or wounded as a consequence conduct to the develop, development of uh, army sanitary services. Uh, the rules of field surgery, a simple standard, which can soon be performed in evacuation stages, uh, the organization of the emergency evacuation chain after they have been stabilized, uh, the conditions of survival uh, the use of various means of evacuation, air, land, and sea, supply, and uh, ep epidemic uh, prevention. Uh, other uh, medical uh, specialties um, are uh, epidemiology, toxicology, forensic medicine, and other branches. Um, disaster medicine is a component of the national uh, security system. Uh, th threats to national security dependent on the health factor are not only multiple, but also extremely serious. The idea that disasters are unconventional threats to national security is obvious, which should be a great interest of the authorities in our country. Disaster medical management is thus uh, easily constituted as a component with uh, equal rights in Romania's national security system. Improper uh, management in the field can be interpreted uh, as a serious lack of uh, management factors. Um, in conclusion, it can be said uh, that uh, disaster medicine has uh, its own uh, identity, even if it's inspired uh, by the attitudes uh, and methods of emergency and uh, military medicine. The number of victims, as well uh, as the variety of possible sufferings, the time crisis from the first phases of the intervention, the disordered caused by destruction, such as poverty of logical, logistical means, uh, the need to work in close integration with other teams, uh, and the need for a good uh, knowledge of intervention plans. Uh, the task that the doctor, uh, doctors has to face proves that uh, disaster medicine is not improvised but it must be studied, learned, and uh, practiced uh, from the first years uh, of the doctor's uh, training. Thank you.